Morro Bay 805 webcams. Take a look at that. Just absolutely stunning views. And by the way, many more cameras available at 805webcams.com. They're our partner for these amazing pictures. Thank you so much for doing that. Here's what's going on in Santa Barbara. The Riviera is looking stunning. It's 70. The humidity right now is 30%. Southwest winds 9 miles per hour. San Luis Obispo is still 82 degrees. The dew point is 43. That means the humidity is 25%. Just a 10 mile per hour weak onshore breeze. It's onshore in Avila Beach as well. It's 70 degrees, a 4 mile per hour wind. In Paso Robles, unofficial daytime high 73, average 62. 83 the record back in 2018 in Santa Barbara 83 today, so that would tie the record going back to 1954 and again. This is unofficial. The weather service will tweak that number could be up, could be down, but probably up a hair might have set a new record or at least tied it and Santa Maria 75 65 is the average 86 the record in 1954. There's some high cloud cover here. The low cloud deck is being pushed away as the ridge builds in more offshore flow will continue in this forecast and over a couple of days you get that kind of plateau effect and that's definitely something we're going to see here over the next few and again what you're seeing here just coasting along the bottom of the screen is not low clouds it's upper level clouds talked about this over the last few days since the beginning of the year we are inches behind on rain yeah we had a lot of rain in october and in december but our surplus is gone for the season now again these numbers are just since january 1st but santa barbara is about five inches behind on rain and i've got no rain in the forecast Paso robles hasn't even seen a quarter inch of rain since january 1st we're three inches behind this pattern isn't going to get it done. This ridge isn't going anywhere. It just basically vacillates in power here over the next several days. There is a system out here in the Central Pacific, but it is not moving our direction. This ridge is just too strong. On the other side of that, cold air pouring south out of Canada will make the central section of the country rather cool. This is the mid-range model, and I'm just going to set it into motion here. Just look how far away storms set, stay here. Now we're getting out to about the 14th, 15th, not much going on. Then we get this little inside slider that drops down the coastline. Now yesterday, models got very bullish and said maybe a quarter inch of rain. Today, the model backed off a little bit. It's not really excited about that, nor the next possibility right around the 20th. So if you add up everything between now and the 23rd, Maybe we get a little bit here and there. This is disappointing because again, we were kind of teased early on with what could have been a great season and then you take entire months off and you begin to pay for it. Interesting numbers tonight. The lows will be cool again and the daytime highs will be warm, if not warmer than today. So we're looking at a lot of daytime highs tomorrow in the lower 80s. But be ready for tonight at the coast. We're looking at overnight lows in the mid 40s, but I'd say many of the valley is going to be right around freezing again. The deep interior mid 30s, daytime highs mid 70s there, but the five cities and the beaches could near 80 again. Santinez Valley temperatures right around the mid 80s, south coast temperature around 80. There's the extended forecast. Set it and forget it through Sunday, maybe starting to back off just a little bit as we get into early next week. We'll see you again at four. Nina, Richard, back to you. All right, Dave, thank you.